Dilly and the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up to sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Okay, so you may or may not be aware that there have been a little bit of backwards and forwards between the team of Alexander Usyk and the team of Joe Joyce when it comes to these guys making their fight for the WBO interim world heavyweight title where we're led to believe that the winner of that fight could then be elevated to full WBO world heavyweight champion once the first anti Joshua Tyson Fury fight takes place for undisputed. So the winner will be crowned undisputed soon after They'll then lose the WBO belt and it'll be awarded to the winner of Usyk and Joe Joyce. Anyway, we'll have to wait and find out if that's going to be for definite. And as far as the fight is concerned, both teams are claiming that they have made offers to each other. And we'll start off with Alexander Usyk, who said this. Joe Joyce's team made us an offer. The offer was unsuitable. So we made a more viable counter offer. Joyce shouldn't think too much of himself and fall in line with everyone else. I'll be the one making the final decision. Alexander Usyk's statement. Now, Frank Warren, he's come out since this statement because this statement is about 24 hours old now. Frank Warren has said that no counter offer has come back. Now, maybe Alexander Usyk, he's saying that a more, counter, uh, a more viable counter offer has been made because obviously that, that would be down to his management team, his promotional team um, and whatever, that they will be the ones to make the offer. Maybe at that particular point, they hadn't made the offer, but he's aware that they're going to make an offer. So maybe a little bit of cross lines. But as far as what we can take from Alexander Usyk, well, I mean, there's a couple of points. But usually when an offer comes through, say, for example, this one, Joe Joyce to Alexander Usyk, Alexander Usyk is the one in pole position. He's the number one. He's the mandatory for currently Anthony Joshua and the WBO. Joe Joyce is, of course, number two. So when it comes down to with the WBO rules, maybe someone can correct me if I'm wrong here because I'm working off the top of my head. But I believe that it's for an interim belt, it's pretty much the same split as if it was for a world title. So if it went to a purse bid in that, for example, then the champion, i.e. currently Alexander Usyk, will get 70% of the purse and the challenger, Joe Joyce, will get 30%. That's usually the way, maybe it's a 65, 35 or something like that. Maybe. I'm sure it's within that ballpark. Now, whatever offer Joe Joyce has put through, or the team of Joe Joyce, as in Frank Warren and uh, Sam Jones and what have you, obviously they're going to try and make an offer where it's going to try and benefit Joe Joyce as much as possible. So if they can get with or move outside the boundaries of what a purse split should be, if it goes to purse bid, then, of course, that's what they're going to do. So what kind of offer went through? Who knows? Did they put through a percentage? Did they put through a cash offer? We really don't know. But either way, Alexander Usyk not too happy with that offer. And him saying that uh, Joe Joyce needs to fall in line with everyone else and he will be the one making the final decision. Not really. Not really. Because at the end of the day, this fight has been ordered by the WBO. This is not a voluntary for Alexander Usyk. This is not him saying, okay, fine, I'll fight Joe Joyce. He has no choice but to fight Joe Joyce. Outside of the option of, if you don't fight, you could walk away, but you're going to lose your mandatory position. Then Joe Joyce will end up fighting, say, Joseph Parker. That will be the next ordered fight. So from one perspective, I understand what he's saying. He is the A-side, but he's not the one making the final decision, ultimately. So what kind of offer is going to come through from Alexander Usyk? I mean, I guess we're going to have to find out. But I do feel, though, that this fight will happen. Of course it will happen. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of needle between the two teams already. We know Joe Joyce, um, he's going to want revenge for what happened in the amateurs with uh, Usyk as well. Um, Alexander Usyk, of course, he's going to be disappointed that he's not fighting currently Anthony Joshua. And the WBO, because they've ordered this fight, means that he doesn't have to receive any kind of step-aside money from Joshua, Fury, or whatever it may be. Maybe things will transpire and turn out that maybe he will have to receive some kind of step, step aside money, but he's not really in a position where he can negotiate too much because there will be a deadline for this, by the way. And if it reaches that deadline, it's gonna to have to go to purse bid. And that's how it's gonna be. And it will be whatever split the WBO say it will be, which I believe is 70-30 in favor of Alexander Usyk. Again, correct me if I'm wrong on that one. But either way, we'll have to wait and find out what happens. I think um, 
this fight will happen. It's inevitable. There's no way that Alexander Usyk is going to allow the negotiations to fall through, or even if they, the negotiations don't really go in his favour, he's not going to really walk, going to want to walk away because he's going to want to be the champion of the WBO. He's going to want to be in the position to maybe go fight the winner of Fury and Joshua. So he ain't going to walk away. They will get the deal done. I'm pretty convinced by that. I really am. But either way, we'll have to wait and find out. It is what it is. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video.